I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will combine few skills learned and then apply them together to solve the question on tangents and curves. The question here is find the equation of the tangent to the parabola y equals to x square plus 3x with slope minus 1. So we are given parabola which is y equals to x square plus 3x and we are given a line which has a slope of minus 1 and we need to find the equation of a tangent line with that slope. That means it will touch the parabola at one particular point. So at that point we will have both x, y values same, correct? So let us say equation of tangent line is, so let us say let equation of tangent be y equals to slope is minus 1 so write minus x plus b right so basically we need to find b to get the answer right so what we will do is we will replace y with minus x plus b in this equation and then solve the two equations so what we have here is minus x plus b equals to x square plus 3x bring the terms together we get x square plus 3x plus x minus p equals to 0 which is x square plus 4x minus p equals to 0 right now that is the equation which needs to be solved and we need we can use quadratic formula to find the value of x that is one way but we, what we need here is to find the value of b right that is what we need so how do we do this kind of equation well, if we are looking for a tangent, then we have only one solution to this equation. That means, if you are looking for a tangent, so for tangent, there has to be just one solution. Is it okay? So, how do you get one solution for a quadratic equation? You get one solution for a quadratic equation in general if b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. Right? So that is the concept which we are going to use in this particular equation. When I say b square minus 4ac, <coughs> I am looking at the equation as ax square plus bx plus c, right, equals to 0. So that is the equation which I am looking at, right. So you should not confuse with these two b's together, right. So, so this, is, this is what we are going to apply, right. So in our equation, what is A, what is B, and what is C? In our equation, we have A as equals to 1, B as equals to 4, and C as equals to minus B. Do you get the idea, right? Now, we will find the value of B by equating B square minus 4 is C as equals to 0. So that means, if I say B square minus 4 is C, that means 4 is my B. So 4 square minus 4 times A is 1 and c is minus b. That should be equal to 0. You get the idea. Now we can solve for it. So we have 4 square minus and minus becomes plus. We get plus 4 b equals to 0. We can solve for b now. So well you could take 4 common and you get 4 plus b equals to 0. So that is a factoring technique which you know about. right? And this is the quadratic number of roots you have learned, correct? Now this is solving linear systems with quadratic systems. So these are so many principles which we are combining together. Now when will this be 0? This will be 0 for b equals to minus 4, right? So that is the value of b. Once you know what b is, you can find the equation of the tangent line, right? So therefore, the equation of tangent line is y equals to minus x minus 4. You get the idea, right? So that is how you can actually solve such questions. All right? You could always, uh, from here, also solve directly, saying that 4b is equals to 16, and b is equals to 16, I mean minus, b is minus 16 by 4, which is minus 4. That's fine also, right? So either way, so what we have learned here is that how to solve linear systems, how to 
ensure that we have only one solution for the given linear system and uh, how to understand the situation and apply different techniques. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.